This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys, how are you? It's Jean Watts. So I slept in today. I have a meeting I have to go to. I don't have a lot of time to get ready. So I figured I would show you guys my 10 minute makeup routine, which is usually uh, my case because I run late to everything. Okay, so first I am going to start with the base. I am going to use my L'Oreal um, BB cream and I am going to put this everywhere because it is daytime and I kind of like having just a nice little BB cream for the day. And I actually like using my hands with this. It looks green, but <laughs> I put too much on as always. Okay, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. Um, I forgot to mention, I put on some moisturizer on before this and getting really into SVF. I used to never wear SVF. And during the pandemic, I literally sat outside pretty much the entire time. And now I'm trying to reverse. I never wore sunscreen. And so now I'm trying to reverse the damage. <laughs> Which I will, I'm confident in it, in it. But now I wear it all the time. And this is a lot, I'm sorry. I put a lot on. <laughs> I did not mean to. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just kind of dab it in. And also take, it will take off some of the product. The SVF that I've been loving lately has been this glow recipe. It's been fantastic. And then for the moisturizer primer, I use this stuff. I actually just posted a reel about it. But I love this BB cream. I actually saw this, I don't know. I saw it somewhere online. And I was like, and people were talking about this is like the best BB cream. Like, this looks so good and it still looks like skin and it's really inexpensive. I'm really glad that I bought it and tried it because I'm a huge fan of it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild contour stick. You guys have seen me use this many times. I'm just gonna get there. That's all I'm gonna do for this, this look. Okay, so then I'm gonna take this brush right here and I'm just gonna dab it more than I am swiping because I don't really want it to move around my BB cream. I'm gonna do a little bit of concealer. I'm gonna use this MAC Studio Fix two hour smooth wear concealer in the shade NC30 and dab it in. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Rare Beauty a blush in bliss and I'm just gonna do some here I really made the decision that even though everyone's putting their blush here I just don't like that I have a lot of room that I need to fill <laughs> so I like keeping my blush more straight I think I feel like that makes my cheekbones pop more than the blush. Okay, so for the bronzer to set all of the contour a little bit, I'm gonna use my MAC uh, Bronzer in Refined Golden and a brush like this. And I'm just gonna go really lightly. I don't want this to look cakey. So I'm just gonna blend it or dab it out here. Okay, so to, to set um, all the lighter areas, I'm gonna take my powder puff right here and my Laura Mercier powder. And I'm gonna get some product on there, but I'm gonna kind of rub it on the cap just to kind of get the product evenly on the powder puff so it doesn't clump up when I put this on my skin. And I have noticed a little of this and not like a lot does a lot. <laughs> it sets everything without it looking cakey and like just enough. I'm like rushing and explaining. So if I'm speaking terrible English, give me a break. <laughs> it's hard for me to do 
it all. Okay, so to set the blush, I'm going to take my Crush XO palette and I'm gonna use Live It Up in a brush like this. And I'm just gonna dab the blush here, kind of set it, and up here. And then you guys know I have an addiction to this MAC Gold Deposit Bronzer. And I'm just gonna put these in my cheeks. So for my eyebrows, I am going to use this, uh, this is Iconic London Brow Pencil in Ash Blonde. And it's really cool because it has like double ends. It has like a pen, I mean, it has a pencil on this side and a pen on that side, which I'm obsessed with. So I do know that my eyebrow should go there. <laughs> I find these pens are just so much easier and quicker to do. I shaded the area where I want it for the most part. Now I'm gonna go in with the pen and just add in, here I can show this, like a little hair-like strokes. Mainly there, a little here. Okay, not to looking crazy. Okay, so now to set them, I'm going to use my next control freak. I'm gonna take my spoolie like this. I'm just gonna glide it around so it tames them a bit. So for the eyeshadow, I'm gonna take my Makeup by Mario palette and Master Mattes. And I'm gonna take a brush like this and I'm gonna go in with this color, just a little bit of this one. And this is just gonna be the all over color. You guys know I love a nude, a basic nude for the day. There, I'm gonna take the other side of this right here, same colors, just do the same underneath. Okay, now I'm gonna take a brush like this and I'm gonna go in with this color right here and a little bit of that one. And I'm just gonna go. And then I think, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, so for today, that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the opposite side of the spoolie, which is actually an eyebrow. Um, pen, uh, eyebrow brush. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna do this brown color right here, and this one. And this thing makes it really easy to make just a little wing right there. I'm gonna do the same, you know, I'm gonna add a little black. I think it can use a little black. Yeah, I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, and then I'm gonna go right in the corners here. Then I'm gonna be taking my uh, MAC eye pencil in Costa Rica. And I'm gonna be lining my upper lid. Um, as of right now, I'm not gonna do my bottom one. But I am gonna line a little bit on the top here. Okay, and for a mascara, I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. And I'm gonna target mostly um, the outer lashes. Okay, so I just did the carbon black. Now I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black mascara and mostly target the outer lashes to kind of give like a natural cat eye. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Marc Jacobs brush. It's like a smudge brush. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of, uh, you know, I'm gonna do this color. And just add a little more depth at the bottom. Okay, now I'm gonna add just a little mascara. I don't like my bottom lashes super intense but I do like to just glide over them so they're a little bit seen. <laughs> okay, so for highlighter, I'm gonna go in with my Crush XO highlighter palette and won't back down. And I'm just gonna brush right there. And my nose, I'm just kind of going right there. And then I'm just gonna take the highlighter Go a little bit on the inside of my eyes. Oh, and a little there and there. 
And so for lips, I'm gonna go in with my NYX lip liner in mahogany. Okay. And then to finish, I'm going to be taking my MAC Lip Balm in Sweet Treat. And it looks like a lipstick, but it's more like a lip balm. I love this stuff. I can use a little more blush. I can see that. So I'm going to just add a little more blush here. And here. Okay, so I'm just gonna fix my hair and I should be done. So this video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you don't know what Squarespace is, it is a platform where you can build your own website. They makes it really easy and affordable to do so. All right, and so one of the other cool things about Squarespace is that you can take your content, you can schedule it, organize it, share it, whatever you need to do, they have it all in one. And even more than that, Squarespace helps you manage inventory, promote products, do bookkeeping, file sales, tax, and ship across the globe. Another cool thing about Squarespace is that when you have a website with them, you can also manage your members, you can send emails, you can look at your audience insights and kind of leverage everything from one easy platform which is major. Go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Gene Watts to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And okay, this is the finished look. I am gonna get dressed and head out the door. Thanks for watching guys.